They are alive, ma'am. You saw them? I did. How were they? They are like children, ma'am. But they know who you are. And they know who your sister is. They have pictures of the whole family, which they know is their family. Right of place, she does. Oh. Shall I get your cousins to say hello? Did you say cousins? Hello. Hello. And there are more. More what? More relatives. Cousins of theirs, equally afflicted. for long walks this morning. Uh, well, you and I are about to go for another. You don't mind if I steal her away, do you? No, not at all. <laughs> five, five, mummy. Five members of our close family locked up and neglected. What do you expect us to do? Behave like human beings. Don't be so naive. We had no choice. They're your nieces. Daughters of your favorite brother. They were unwell. Aunt Fenella was overwhelmed. And then the way things suddenly changed for all of us. None of us could have foreseen it. It, what's it? Well, the abdication, No, not course. everything that is wrong with this family can be explained away by the abdication. But the abdication did change everything. You were too young to understand everything. It's complicated. No, it's not. It's wicked and it's cold hearted. It's cruel. It's entirely in keeping with the ruthlessness I myself have experienced in this family. If you're not first in line, if you're an individual character with individual needs, and God forbid, an irregular temperament, if, if you don't fit the perfect mold of silent, dutiful supplication. Then you'll be spat out or you'll be hidden away or worse, declared dead. Darwin had nothing on you lot. Shame on all of you. Margaret. No. Margaret! <laughs> 